Hi everyone, this is Miss D from D Special Things. Um, I wanted to share with you all some of the, uh, what are they? The friendship umbrellas. I've done quite a few of them. Some of them I have actually finished, but now I'm putting stands on them. Now I've done quite a few um, using these, you know, the rolls that the your ribbon come on and I'll take them apart and I'll trace these circles two for each side and I'll just glue them to the circle the um, paper that you glue to it makes it kind of firm well you might want a bigger one than this but yeah so when you put them back together I'll glue these two I'll glue a piece of paper on this a coordinating sheet of paper and glue the other side so that you actually get piece like this and then you could glue your umbrella in there it firms it up and it actually holds it okay then I used well I didn't use one yet so I'm gonna have to show you how to do it these are little bowls six mini round bowls that I got from the Dollar Tree and uh, of course for a dollar <laughs> and you can actually use these decorate it and put your friendly umbrella on there they they're pretty sturdy too so they really hold and I figured this would be good for the smaller ones too yes and it doesn't make them real big and it sits up now you saw the one that I did in a previous um, video I got some happy mail and I actually used the candlestick that's sturdy that's great it's not going anywhere but if you don't want them to be tall these are the IKEA uh, tea light votives yes I use this this is perfect I've been doing a lot of my friendship umbrellas using this because it's smaller it is heavy but it holds a lot better so I'm gonna show you some of my umbrellas that I've shown you before but this time I've actually finished them okay I want hold on one second yeah because I want to show you how I actually decorated the bottom using those tea lights okay this is one right here that I finished totally I'm not putting flowers on there but I use this denim is from my stash and I have bunches of the different flowers um, I use lace on it I use beading on the side but I love this right here because it holds it yeah I usually to put it on put something like an embroidered pleat piece or a flower so that it holds it on the glass yes that makes it a lot sturdier for the handle I use some um, I think some market make it market or something like that some this twine that I got from this G material that I got from and it's rolled like that I got it from Michaels, oh gosh, probably a couple of summers ago, and it comes on a roll, just like a ribbon. Yes, yeah, so I used that. And this is actually this one. This, uh, and on the back of it, I used a piece of that canvas, and I'm going to put my information on there. Okay, so that's one of them, and I really like these because. I wanted to show you another something I'm doing. I'm actually putting my little goodies, the loose goodies, in this container. I'll be packaging some of them like that. And if you, and these are little mini coffee cups that I got from Oriental Trading. You get like 50 pieces. You get 25 of the cups and 25 of the little. Uh, tops 
for something like five dollars four ninety five yeah so I'll be finishing this up to send out but they'll go in here and as you can see it does hold it okay so I'm gonna sh and the straw I actually it's a coffee stir <coughs> excuse me a coffee stir and I just cut it in half and glue it to the lid so that when you open it your goodies are in there yeah you can just put goodies in there and it doesn't disturb it or anything and it fits down in there you can fit so much in this little friendly umbrella that's why I like them and it makes such cute gifts okay so then I'll show you this one um this is a pink one. I was going to put flowers on it, but I thought it had too much going on already. And the paper is so pretty, I really didn't want to take away from the paper. I need another crochet flower. i got to remember that. Put one there. Yes, but that's it. That's that. And then I have this little wand that I made. And it's a shaker wand. Yeah. That's the back side of it to hide the straw. And, uh, yeah. I used some of the flowers. I think these are Queen and Company. I don't know who they're huge flowers, but those are the ones that I use. I use some pom poms around this. Um, yeah, so there is my pom pom, and this, that's one of my I want to show you how this is so sturdy and then I could take this and this is the coffee cup I showed you before and it has little goodies stuck in there and I still have plenty of room to fit other things in there now I uh, it was pretty easy to make the umbrellas but my deal is putting all this stuff together um, all the little goodies that you put in it that is the hardest thing to do so I'm going to show you the ones that I've made so far. I'm not rightfully finished with them because I have, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm not rightfully finished with them because I have to put flowers and all that. This is one that I'm doing for one of my subbies. Yes, I thought that was pretty. And I hope she likes it. I just have to do the goodies to fit in there. I actually started the little cup already. So, yeah, because she have to have that little cup to put her, so I could put her little goodies in there. This is one. I haven't finished it. I need to put the flowers on it. I made so many of these things, and all of them, most of them have either, I used a block for this one. I used a block for this one. But it still sits up. It's sturdy. It sits up and it holds all this stuff. This one, I used the glass tea light votives uh, from Ikea. These things are so sturdy, so I'm going to have to get more. This one, I haven't figured out what to do with next. As pretty as the color is, I'm having a little time finding decorations and flowers that might have to go white I don't know so I'm sitting that there don't know when I'll finish that and then I just want to give you all an idea of ways that I'm decorating it here's one that I'm working on too I did find the perfect flowers to put on it but now I have to find some smaller flowers this color I am also reorganizing my craft room and hopefully I'll be finished with it this weekend. That's what I've been working on for the better part of this year since it started. But yeah, that is one. And it's in one of the Dollar Tree little uh, coffee cups and saucers. So yeah, I'm going to finish that. And like I said, I'll do a a um let me move all these and then I'll just lay them back down so you can see them. This one is where I used the roll and I covered it as you can see on both sides and it makes it pretty sturdy but I do use an acrylic flower and I don't know where I got these from. Could be paper mark but it holds the actual umbrella um, which makes it easy to use. 
Yeah, so I haven't, I might end up having to go, I might have to go back to the store to find uh, different flowers and stuff that I could use. Um, because, not flowers, maybe, I don't know. I have too much stuff to say I need to go to the store, so I may not. I think I'm going to just keep looking through my room. There it is. That I, I put that on there. I haven't decorated that yet. So you can see how I attached that. That was the very first one I made. Even with this little thing, it's not sturdy if you put stuff in it. So I went ahead and I put stuff in there. And then here is another one I'm working on right now. Um, let me sit these down so that you can see the ones that I'm working on. Hopefully I'll get these out. A few of them will be going in the mail and a few I'm doing. These make perfect Mother Day gifts as uh, one of my subbies told me. She's making a bunch for Mother's Day. I think I'm going to do that uh, for my sisters. Just make a bunch of them for Mother's Day. Here is another one, and it says D right now. I might take this off and put it on a base. I can make them anytime. That was one of the first ones I made. I have to put flowers on it, and uh, yeah. Yeah, so they're super, super easy to make. This one, actually put it on this base, yeah. So, and I've, I'm having so much fun making them. I just don't have the time right now because I'm trying to... Oh, clean up and I know I have to get this stuff cleaned up because if I don't I'll never be able to craft like I want so yes I'm working on that I've been working on that all weekend and I just figured stay away from YouTube just clean and before you know it you'll be done so I'm almost done you guys hopefully I'll get a video out of at least one side of my um organized space yeah but yeah I'm working on that and when I finish I'll come back and give you all another video all right thanks for watching all take care bye bye